In JavaScript, there are mainly three primary data types, which include number, string, and boolean. Now, in the last video, I've given you an example of a number data type and a string data type. You can still see it uh, in the console. Uh, so, this is a value um, 10, and basically, it represents its of type number and we've just assigned this number to the variable a and here's the string text um, the value is test inside these double quotation marks and we've assigned this value of data type string to the boolean variable b uh, we can also have i can also demonstrate uh, the example of the third data type so this is uh, the value of um, data type boolean and we are assigning it to uh, variable c and these are basically three primary data types you can inspect the types of uh, a b and c respectively by using this type of uh, keyword so i'll say type of a and i can see that it's um, number i can see type of b i can see it's a string and i can also do the same thing for c and i can see that it is of type boolean now boolean has potentially two um values true or false uh, this one here is a false uh, but we can also have uh, we can also set c as a boolean type of true uh, one last thing is about um, the number data type i mean right now i've got like this number 10 but i can also have a decimal um uh, fraction so i can have something like what d equals 2.1 and that is also a type uh, number so we can see that the type of D is also a number. So number can include both the whole numbers or the decimal uh, values as well. Um, there are some other data types JavaScript supports uh, which are more, more complex in nature um, like uh, objects and functions. But uh, objects and functions are more sort of detailed uh, topic and it won't be very easy to squeeze them into this video so if you follow along the next few tutorials i'll be discussing um, objects and functions in more detail